time. We see the orange, that's freezing rain beginning to rotate its way northward, beginning to invade the Cape right now, also Boston Mass, even uh, right around Nantucket. We have temperatures up to 40 degrees right now for the far southeastern corner of Massachusetts. It's all rain, with temperatures very, very, very mild. Nationwide, we check on our storm for the northeastern part of the country. Then we go back towards the west. The storm that brought the rains of Southern California and Los Angeles during the day is now beginning to move out. This storm will begin to strengthen, by the way, during the next 24 hours. It begins to move out eastward. And again, watch out around Oklahoma City to Dallas. Winter storm watches have already gone into effect now for late Wednesday night and early Thursday morning. By late Thursday, Jackson, Birmingham, Atlanta, and the early on Friday, you'll be looking at the snows beginning in your region too. But you can see during the next 24 hours, we'll focus our attention back towards the west. A real, real potent storm system likely to organize then uh, cruise eastward rapidly during the next two days. Separate branches with the northern branch bringing down cold air from Canada into the central and eastern U.S. And then the southern branch or Pacific branch uh, bringing disturbances in from the Pacific along the southern tier of the U.S. When those two jet streams collide, stormy weather in the south results. Here's where the change comes in. Our current pattern is evolving into what meteorologists call more zonal, a typical west to east flow. That should happen this weekend. What does that mean for you and me? Well, that means uh, the southeast is going to get a chance to warm up and thaw out because it's going to let that cold air mass retreat more to the north where we expect it to be at this time of year. But don't get too comfortable if you live in the southeast. Longer range forecasts suggest we may again see a split flow pattern sometime next week. For the Weather Channel, I'm Dave Liu. Well, the southern branch of that split flow jet stream is actually creating, well, this upper level low that gave the rain in California. It's pushing it through the Four Corners region tomorrow by Wednesday. It's moving it throughout Texas. And what that's going to do as you move on down towards the surface is we're going to see that low pressure system. Again, you have counterclockwise rotation 